welcome back to the Smart Tank Revolution, where we always kick out at two. I'm Donnie Wonderful, and we have to talk about this. Vince McMahon, you are a sexual deviant. And what I'll try to do is um, actually, you know, not be as lighthearted as I normally am on this channel. This is very serious, of course, but I'm afraid of what's also being hidden behind the field, so to speak. Sorry, let's put this monitor back. I am in the office with the microphone. And um, yeah, guys, I mean, it's common knowledge now. Um, you know, a major part of my, and I want to say our, childhood, depending on, um, you know, your age, um, Vince McMahon is a major part of it and was a major part of it. You know, um, the WWF years. You know, we, we grew up seeing this man on commentary, the character Mr. McMahon, um, you know, just he's been the face of the WWF slash WWE since his inception. And now with the things that are surfacing, I'm starting to question how long that has been going on. And, um, you know, if you're new to the channel, what we like to do is my esteemed colleague and I, Mr. Joey Business, shout out to you, Mr. Joey Business, but our esteemed colleague and I, the way we like to record content, we want to do things off the cuff and raw, unintended, you know, like no notes, just shooting straight from the hip. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. And that's why we label ourselves the tyrant of tangents because you know what you hear is what you get you know like this how we feel in that moment for instance it's almost 2 p.m on the east coast right now as i'm recording this and by 3 p.m i may feel something different but you're going to get these 2 p.m in the afternoon thoughts and they're unedited unrehearsed you know just plug in this mic press record and post so um I've been thinking uh cuz I just read the text messages the very graphic text messages um and it's weird to see a 78 year old man speak like this um not going to read any of them YouTube doesn't like that but you know they're very graphic and hey, listen, you're into whatever you're into. We're not we're not being judgmental here. But um I was having a conversation with Joey uh Monday and he made a remarkable comment. And he said that the moment you take money, you transition from victim to customer. And I actually agree with him there. But Vince, you also can't default on that hush money either. I'm just saying. Just to be fair. But it's not so much about that, you know, sexual assault, sexual trafficking, it, it, it's unethical, it's immoral, it's illegal, it's just not right. You know, like, you're damn near an oppressor. So, like, there is no good light on is to be shed on Vince here. You know, you're in the wrong, period. But what I was worried about now was um how much of this was hidden in plain sight you know also in that conversation i had with uh my colleague he mentioned the the um the promo where he had trish stratus bark like a dog how much how much was that implicating what was going on in the back you know um even further i remember um i don't remember it when it happened but uh, when I was reading Bret Hart's book, there was the referee in 1992. And actually, that was the reason why um, Vince was on the Phil Donahue show, if you guys remember. That sexual assault, even way back then, um, they were, remember the rumblings about Pat Patterson? How he was um, uh, sexually harassing the male talent in the ring, in the ring crew or something like that? That that happened, and that was in the '90s. Uh, I remember when he had to to resign for a while, you know. And then, you know, you think about well, remember Sable? 
um, was she, she? I think she was still Rena Rena Merrill at the time when she sued the WWF or WWE. I'm pretty sure it was like 1999 or somewhere in the early 2000s uh, um, for sexual assault and saying that it was an unsafe working environment. Look at all of this, you know, uh, steroid scandals. Dark Side of the Ring is going to have a field day when they cover this. And it's going to have to be an entire season or at least half of the season. You have an anthology of several misdemeanors that happened right before us. You know what I mean? Like um, steroid scandal. Throw the Montreal screw job in there. There's a laundry list of these things that has happened. But this one here, this latest one. Oh, I'm not, not to mention um, uh, the the sexual uh, assault or allegations two years ago in 2022 that caused Vince to uh, resign the first time. You know, it's crazy. It's it's absolutely insane. And the more these facts come out, well, not facts. Sorry, allegedly, because you are in, um, innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. So I will say that from the alleged allegations, Johnny Laurinaitis thrown under the bus, like I read the text, the stuff about Brock Lesnar and, and trafficking this poor woman or this willing woman or whatever, just trafficking her to, to wrestlers. I don't mean to laugh, but like even to having sex toys named after wrestlers is ridiculous. Vince, you Vince, Vince, you into some weird stuff. You know? You into some weird stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, like, okay. I I said I was gonna try to keep this, you know, PG and keep a straight face. But that was the one that cracked me. I'm sorry. Like, you know. <laughs> If you're into that, you're into that. But naming them after after wrestlers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh man. All right, all right. Just one. Just one. I'm gonna do this one time. Like just imagine them going to, No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. Defecating on somebody at at your big age, all that milk and magnesia. All right, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, let me reel this back in. But seriously, seriously, think of all those Vince McMahon guys. Right? Think of um, Bruce Pritchard. Do you know anything? Gosh. Mark Calloway, Undertaker. I know you had a father and son-like relationship. What do you know? I I, I hope there's some, uh, some of our favorite wrestlers and in, in talents that don't catch a stray. You know, Kevin Dunn, you know, been a producer for God knows how long. We know you're a Vince guy. Don't be surprised if you hear reports, if, if this really goes to the fullest extent that it can go, there should be subpoenas for a lot of people. You know? And would you fault them? Like, what if this literally is the turning point to where we all say, hey, listen, I'm I'm going to think with my ethics and say, screw WWE, or I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, um, it looks like they've, they've gone as far, and this is really hard to do, but they're giving Vince McMahon the, uh, the Chris Benoit treatment. I saw a... A um a post on Facebook that just had pictures of every winner of the Royal Rumble since its inception, and when it got to I think it was what um 1999 they had um that picture was blacked out, and then of course 2004 is blacked out, and I was just looking at 1999 and and a lapse of genius in me it was like why is this blacked out? Like why? Like I know Chris Benoit, but like why this blacked out? I even had to consult the Google Google machine. So oh, yeah, Vince McMahon did win it that year. Why is he blacked out? And then, you know, things are starting to get things are becoming more clearer now. 
Uh, that's a more daunting task to try to to um, black out Vince McMahon or or scrub Vince McMahon from the history of a company that he started. Um, the attitude ever try try scrubbing Vince McMahon from that. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just very difficult. Um, but I can understand. I can understand the uh, TKO group and why they would want to do that. At, at this at this moment right now, you distance yourself from Vince McMahon and anybody who's relatively close to him. Now that's hard because Paul Levesque works there. But if he gets subpoenaed, what do you know? We know that um that Vince and Shane have been on the outs and and um by the way. You guys remember like 20 years ago reading or hearing that Shane wanted Vince to buy the UFC then? Shane's starting to really come come across as a uh, as a visionary now, you know. Very his intelligence is very 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 underrated. But um, you know, he's been on the outs with Vince and allegedly he knew that this day of reckoning was coming. Stephanie, what do you know? You know, and I this is your family. You know, it's, you're not going to air out family laundry. We all have those relatives that, you know, may have issues and you deal with them internally. But when it's exploited like this for the public, if you get subpoenaed, imagine that mess. The WWE will remove himself from anyone named McMahon or anyone related to him. Brock Lesnar being pulled from the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when he was named. Brock, that, ooh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, Sending, mm-mm. <laughs> you know, we're adults here, and if we're not, I'm sorry. Uh, you guys are going to have to look at those messages all on your own. But I'm worried about those subpoenas to that type of um those type of guys you know as far as we know right now and, and i feel like like this is snowballing downhill downhill fast i think uh we're not done with newer allegations being revealed and that's scary especially when you know the trafficking to to um superstars and listen you know there's sex tapes out there there's been you know that's something that adults do like i i understand it you know if you it, I, if you're painting uh this poor woman out as a victim um and i read some of that backstory too it, there's unethical things that go on all the time i'm not and i'm not advocating that any of us judge them but i just do believe that the reputations that type of uh, of of reputation amongst the superstars that we've grown to love and cheer for and root should be protected and if there's any smear on it like it it's a stench that doesn't smell good and doesn't wash out easy all of those events guys you know we're like hey you all knew something and then it just says now to me that hey listen all those assault um sexual assault allegations that you heard uh around the campfire you know it gives credence to him like yeah you know we can not we but i i can assume that most of those have actually happened in some capacity you know um it's i don't know it, it it's 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 a weird time man I'm. T- I don't. I don't think this is over, gang. I. I don't think this is over. I think we're just getting started. Um, the motives are whatever the motives are, but you know this has come out, and I think that we are literally just getting started with this here. And I wanted to plug this mic on and record this content before another atomic bomb drops, because like hypothetically, if they say. Well, yeah, you know, you're trafficking to and when they start naming names. And if they imply some of our favorite superstars slash wrestlers to this sex scandal, imagine the damage it'll cause. 
imagine the irreputable damage that it will cause. You know, these these guys are family men, they're married, and again, you know, I get it. You know, none of us are perfect, but I'm just thinking about the the fan base is going to damage, and more importantly, maybe the family structure is going to damage. If you're if you're Johnny Laurinaitis, right? You know, and look at what the Bella Twins sent, uh, texted or posted or uh, yeah, yeah, but tweeted rather. Um, you know, you wonder, you know, hey, were they privy to any of this? You know, they they're in they they're actually family. You know, like it's. Um, and, and it's just it's just disturbing. So now now we're pointing the finger like, whoa, who really knew what? Who really knew what? And poor Hunter, man, you know, hey, Nick Khan's not gonna get on the microphone. Nick Khan's not gonna address the people in 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 the um press conferences. That's Hunter's job. And I know he wanted to focus on the positive for, for the Royal Rumble, but this is a major, a major scandal that overshadows all of that. It's a publicly shared company. And the CEO has now been involved, well, the former CEO, in the face of that company. And your father-in-law has now been implicated in yet another, another scandal, another one, which caused everybody to break sever ties with him directly. For the first time, there's not a single McMahon anywhere in the WWE hierarchy. And I promise you, if you would have told me this, Six months ago, not six months ago, let's 12 months ago, not even that. Let's just go back five years just to be safe. Just the thought of that would be blasphemy. He said, Yo, Vince is gonna die in Gorilla. I remember that. Mm -mm. I said, Hey, keep it ethical, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna cut this mic off right now because I feel like if I keep on rambling and going on a tangent, I'm gonna get Smart Tank canceled. So thank you all for listening, and please share your thoughts. And don't forget, I meant to say this earlier. Guys, please, like the video. You know, we don't do this for our help. We do this to entertain you all, our fan fam, our family, rather, and supporters. So please, like the video. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel. Donnie Wonderful signing off.